I lived through the internet bubble, so I know how it uh, works out on the other end. But I will tell you this, that the spending, even though it's very aggressive, I do expect that it'll continue for several years because the folks that are spending the money have the balance sheets and the cash flows to mostly fund it. And they all, to a man, have said in their public commentary that they see the first mover advantage in this nuclear, AI nuclear arms race to be absolutely critical. So they will continue to do it. Yeah, when we get out three, four, five years, then I'm starting to get a little bit more skeptical, but I do expect this to continue a pace for the next couple. The world's most powerful companies aren't competing for land, oil, or even users anymore. They're fighting for compute power. What veteran analyst Paul Meeks calls an AI nuclear arms race is now the defining contest of this decade. In his recent interview, Meeks, who lived through the internet bubble, warned that the scale of this spending spree is unprecedented. Trillions are being poured into data centers, chips, and advanced infrastructure. And this time, unlike the dot-com era, the giants funding it have the cash and conviction to sustain it. He predicts that this massive AI build-out will continue at full speed through 2026 and 2027, driven by big tech's obsession with owning the future of artificial intelligence. And he's right, hyperscalers like Microsoft, Google, and Meta are now spending more than entire nations on compute infrastructure and clean energy just to power their models. Because in this new era, whoever controls compute controls the future of AI. While inflation is easing and interest rates are poised to decline, a fresh wave of capital is pouring back into technology, but not just into software or cloud. It's going into the physical backbone of AI, the chips, the memory, and the servers that make this digital revolution possible. In this video, we'll uncover three companies at the epicenter of this trillion dollar AI arms race. These firms aren't chasing hype. They're supplying the indispensable components that make AI run. Each one sits on a different layer of the compute stack, and together, they represent the infrastructure powering the world's most advanced intelligence systems. If you're trying to understand where the real value lies in this AI boom, this is where the story gets very real. First on the list is Broadcom Incorporated, ticker symbol AVGO, a semiconductor powerhouse that's quietly become one of the most indispensable players in the global AI ecosystem. While most of Wall Street's attention has fixated on GPU makers, Broadcom has built its dominance in the infrastructure that connects those GPUs together. In simple terms, it's creating the data highways of the AI era. Earlier this month, Broadcom signed a landmark deal with OpenAI, worth roughly 10 gigawatts of compute capacity, making it the fifth hyperscaler to join Broadcom's AI portfolio after Google, Meta, ByteDance, and a mystery customer believed to be Apple or XAI. This single deal expanded Broadcom's total AI addressable market to nearly $140 billion, underscoring its deep entrenchment in every corner of the AI build-out. The company's strength lies in its networking and custom chip businesses. Broadcom's Ethernet switches and custom ASICs are the glue that holds AI clusters together. Its latest networking chip, the Thor Ultra, is the industry's first 800 gigabit Ethernet NIC capable of linking hundreds of thousands of AI processors to train trillion parameter models. It's a level of scalability critical for frontier model developers, and Broadcom sits right at the heart of it. AI-related sales jumped more than 60% year-over-year last quarter, and 65% of that came from custom chips built specifically for hyperscalers. These are not one-off deals, they're long-term infrastructure commitments that will unfold over years. As more hyperscalers develop their own in-house silicon to reduce reliance on GPU monopolies, Broadcom becomes the natural partner of choice. In the broader context of the AI arms race, Broadcom isn't just a chipmaker, it's the bridge between hardware and hyperscaler ambition. It powers the neural networks of the biggest AI companies on the planet, quietly ensuring that the race for compute doesn't grind to a halt. Next, we move from the data highways to the fuel that keeps them running, memory. And that brings us to Micron Technology, ticker symbol MU. If Broadcom provides the wiring of the AI world, Micron supplies the storage and memory that allows machines to think, learn, and evolve. In an era where AI models are expanding exponentially in size, memory has become one of the most valuable resources in tech. Micron's dominance stems from its breakthroughs in high bandwidth memory, HBM, the ultra-fast memory technology used in NVIDIA's H200 and AMD's MI300 accelerators. Recently, the company introduced its 12-layer, 36-gigabyte HBM4, which delivers 60% faster performance and greater energy efficiency. Demand for this product is so overwhelming that Micron's production capacity is fully booked through 2026. 
In fact, management has indicated that the company is seeing extreme shortages at customers, driving a surge in margins and pricing power. This boom isn't just about performance, it's about strategic importance. Under renewed America First manufacturing policies, Micron has become a national asset. With over $6 billion in U.S. government subsidies, it's securing America's position in the global AI supply chain and reducing reliance on foreign memory producers. That makes Micron not only a commercial winner, but a geopolitical one. Financially, Micron's balance sheet is built for endurance. With nearly $10 billion in cash, low leverage, and rising returns on invested capital, it has the flexibility to fund aggressive R&D while weathering short-term supply challenges. The company's leadership now expects profit margins to expand above 50% as HBM shortages continue through the decade. Simply put, Micron isn't chasing the AI revolution, it's powering it. Every major data center, every AI accelerator, and every large language model depends on its technology. And as compute demand soars, Micron's role as the memory backbone of AI becomes even more vital. Now that we've covered the data highways and the memory fueling them, let's talk about the infrastructure that houses it all. The final company, Super Microcomputer, ticker symbol SMCI, is the unsung hero of the AI hardware revolution. While most tech giants are still in the planning and construction phase of their data centers, Supermicro is entering the deployment phase, the point where real servers are shipped, installed, and turned on. In fiscal 2025, the company reported $22 billion in revenue, up 47% year over year, and guided for at least $33 billion in 2026. What's remarkable is that more than 70% of its revenue now comes from AI platforms, proving that Supermicro has fully transitioned into the high-performance compute era, as NVIDIA's B200 and GB300 chips ramp up production through next year, Supermicro will be the one integrating them into rack-scale systems for hyperscalers across the globe. Its flagship data center building block solutions have become the gold standard in AI data center architecture. These modular liquid-cooled systems are designed to handle the heat and power demands of trillion parameter models, enabling faster deployments and higher efficiency. The company's close collaboration with NVIDIA, AMD, and other chipmakers gives it a unique first-mover advantage in delivering ready-to-deploy AI servers. Despite this explosive growth, the market still values Supermicro like a traditional cyclical hardware assembler, a massive disconnect from its true role as a structural enabler in the AI economy. Analysts point out that its revenue tends to lag hyperscaler capex by about a year, meaning the biggest wave of growth could arrive in 2026 and 2027 as data centers transition from design to live compute environments. Supermicro is not late to the AI boom, it's perfectly timed for the realization phase. As global AI infrastructure spending accelerates, SMCI is positioned as the company that literally builds the machines running the future of intelligence. The AI arms race Paul Meeks warned about isn't theoretical, it's unfolding right now, reshaping the global economy one data center at a time. From the chips that connect the world's most powerful processors, to the memory that fuels them, to the servers that bring it all to life, these companies form the unseen backbone of artificial intelligence. They are the infrastructure of tomorrow, the physical foundation of an entirely new digital economy. As hyperscalers race to build, nations compete for compute dominance, and innovation moves faster than regulation. One thing is certain, AI isn't just another tech cycle, it's a transformation on par with the internet revolution. The only question that remains is who will own the infrastructure when the dust settles. Because in this new era of intelligence, the real power doesn't belong to the algorithms, it belongs to those who build them.